All right, welcome back to, I don't even know what I'm going to call this, but whatever. So, as you can see, I have multiple things going on here. It's typically how I work. Uh, I'm, I, I really have decided that I absolutely have to get this kit finished that I started like three weeks ago. Um, it is a just a really small Estes kit. It's a two-stage kit. And believe it or not, with the right engines, this little guy will do 2,600 feet. Um, that's the one thing about low power that a lot of people underestimate is how high you can actually get them because they're so freaking light. You know, you put a, a good, even Estes Black Powder C engine in there, or two of them, because this is a two-stage, and yeah, you'll, you're going to get some altitude out of it. And that's the thing, it's 18 millimeter motor bounce. So if you wanted to, you could even put in a couple of punchy D engines. Um, oh, well, you could ignite them that way. I was thinking using composite motors, but you would have to do electronic ignition, air start, and everything, which you're not going to be able to fit into that body tube. That's like a BT20. It's, it's really, I don't even think it's an inch in diameter. Oh, so this, here, check it out real quick. If you order an Estes Rocket Cradle, that's how small it is. So don't think you're going to be able to use one of these on something like this. <laughs> you know, for little guys like this, it's great. So, where was I? Oh, all right. So the, the booster fins, they're eighth inch balsa. I had sealed them with my... Uh, Wonderful Elmer's Carpenter wood putty stuff and let them dry and luckily they weren't warped. I did use my aerofoil sanding block on it, which I need some practice with these because it's a little tricky. You know, they're set for a particular radius both on the front and back side of the fin. Um, it's difficult to get sandpaper up all the way into that tight of a radius. Um, I, I gotta work on that. I either need to find some thinner sandpaper or something. Um, the other trick, unfortunately I got one of my fins slightly misshapen. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. You know, this is not a super high performance kit, so, oh well. Um, what I should have done and I didn't do it, was when you go to measure when you when you go to like round off your your leading edges and stuff on your fins what you should do is measure like i don't know a half a millimeter or a millimeter all around your edge and mark it with a sharpie okay so that way when you're sanding each fin and you're rounding off that edge once you get to that line you know don't go any farther or it's going to be out of shape or you're going to sand too far into it compared to the other ones um neat little trick so I'm going to play around with these sanding blocks a little more. What I think I'm going to do on the upper stage fins, because they are much, much smaller, um, as you can see, is I think I'm just going to use the back side of the sanding blocks, these airfoil blocks. So, you know, the front side is you get a real nice sharp edge or an airfoiled edge, and then the back side is just round. So I think what I'll do on the upper stage is I will just literally just round them I may not even use that block, I might just do it by hand because they're so small. I do want to seal these just for consistency's sake. Uh, I was planning on painting the big four inch Zephyr today, but I realized I don't have any fucking primer. So I gotta go buy like two, three cans of primer now. Shit. I've got three cans of white, a can of black, I've got my Adhesion promoter for the nose cone because that plastic doesn't take paint very well Even if you sand the fuck out of it, it'll peel later So that's why I decided no, let me get this other I've got several small low power kits that are like half done and I've got like Five kits. I need to do unboxings for like this one a Hyperbat Which is another two-stage kit I actually bought this for my fiance because she loves bats. So yeah, it's a fucking mess over here. All right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll give you a rundown. This is the the booster stage. This is a little shit. I can't even see that. There we go. Mm. 
It's an engine block or an engine ring. Um, the way the booster is going to go is it's actually going to go in the bottom of it. So that when the ejection of this motor ignites the upper motor, it will shoot this off. All right. So we've got that. And we've got these two spacer tubes. Okay. Instruction said to tape these together because these are the size of Estes 18 millimeter motors. So you slide the one down in there. And then you've got your upper stage, which would then go on top. And then you've got a tube coupler that's going to join the upper stage and the main airframe together. Like a soul. It's a pretty long rocket, really, with both stages. So there's a couple of tricks when it comes to multi-stage rockets. Um, usually, if you're using some kind of fin jig, which I highly suggest you do, if the fins sit flush with the bottom of the tube or they sit higher or whatever, you can use this little contraption. This is Estes. It's a fin alignment guide, basically. It comes with a bunch of blank size tubes so that you can do 13 millimeter, 18 and 24 millimeter. It goes in there. Your engine mount sits on top of it. And then your fins, depending upon what size, you can flip these little dividers over depending upon the size of fin. Essentially, get clipped. Uh, get clipped into place and glued. However, because this is a two stage, and the instructions say to glue this engine block in the bottom of your first stage first, and then put your fins on, I'm going to change that. I am going to use this alignment jig, but slightly differently. Because um, then the other only way to do it is if you, if you glued that engine block in your bottom booster stage, you essentially, what you can do is flip that over and mount your fins upside down, but that usually in, means you're going to make an error. Um, so, of course, you could do it by hand. Um, you could have, if you had a BT20 fin alignment jig, great. You could probably make one. Uh, this particular tool I have from Estes, at the very top, there's a little, like, fin, well, a, a V-notch area that you can actually use as a fin alignment tool. If I can get it right. So, and then, you know, rubber band or tape that. Great, except because I aerofoiled these, they don't quite sit in that notch real, real secure. They kind of wiggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, but I'm pretty much basically just going to do it by hand. Um, once I get my first fin on, Once I get my first fin on, it'll hold it in place and then I can glue the other two. Uh, my plan of attack is essentially I'm just going to super glue tack these in place and then I will do a wood glue fillet after that. So. Just making sure this is actually going to work the way I want it to. You know, smaller models like this, you could actually do it by hand too if you just laid it down and literally just make sure you have a line and, boop, you know, just teeter it down, which actually I might even just do that. Fuck it. The tricky part with two stages is this. Great. You get your booster fins on. They're all lined up. They look beautiful. Awesome. And then typically in instructions, they say, okay, now you're going to do your sustainer in the main airframe. 
and you glue those fins on and then you go to put the two together and you realize your upper fins on your airframe and your booster fins are just slightly you know misaligned so the trick is this when you go to glue your fins on your your sustainer stage you take a popsicle stick you tape it to your back stage you tape your sustainer fin to that and then they're, they'll be nice and lined up um, to each other. Um, and I, I will show that in a different video yet. Now I'm all over the fucking place. I actually have to do an unboxing on this kit yet too. This is a, an advanced kit from Estes. It's got all kinds of shit going on in it. I've got like 10 other kits I want to do unboxings on. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to finish this model up. Um, I don't know if I'll film the whole thing. Um, some of the tricky parts, like gluing the sustainer fins and the booster fins and making sure those are aligned. That, you know, basic sanding and sealing. There, there are a ton of, ton of videos out there for that. You guys can find that somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to crank on this thing. And then, like I said, when I get ready to do the sustainer fins and the booster fins and how I'm going to align those and make sure they, they're straight, I'll show that. Um, and that's probably about it for this one, really. I do have the paint for this. I, I found some like royal blue paint. Um, Krylon 2X stuff. Um, which technically you don't need primer for according to them, but a little guy like this, I probably won't pry him. I'll probably just fucking spray him white. I might not even sand in between coats. I might just do a rough, boom, white coat, and then do my blue spots, which are going to be kind of fade, kind of not, we'll see. Um, and then my stickers later tonight. Uh, I just, I want to get, it's one of those projects that's been half done for like three weeks, and I want to get it done and over with, so I don't have to think about it anymore. All right, I'll be back in a little bit when I get ready to glue all those fins in place.